today I'll be doing a video on Marinette. A psychiatrist has sessions with a boy who claims to predict death. A woman oversees a child who never speaks and likes to draw creepy drawings of random people's death. The kid was very bland and a cheap knockoff of other creepy kids from other horror movies. The story as it unfolds is very predictable and very dull. The movie has a general foundation for a good psychological thriller, but it ends up being very stale. That is until the last 40 minutes where the movie's quality greatly increases. It's exciting to watch and for the first time, the plot isn't insipid. This is not a horror movie or even a thriller. It's a story about grief. I thought the film itself did a disservice by explaining every little detail at the end. They should have made the audience think or even explain what their intentions were through visuals instead of having a character talk at us. In conclusion, I give this a 5 out of 10. Again, I thought the first hour of this movie was poorly done. It was very dull, uninspired, lazy in my opinion. It was the worst type of movie. It was visually appealing but was empty and had nothing to offer. But because of the weak one hour beginning, the last 40 minutes really were a huge turnaround and it really did pick up and I finally cared about what was going on and I really cared about the lead character as well, Marionette. So yeah, I give this a 5 out of 10.